I found a tool that's free that does things better than ChatGPT. No more hassle of getting the perfect prompt or having answers that are just not exactly what you need. With Cohesive AI, they will guide you to create the perfect content that you need. And I'm gonna show you how amazing it is. The tool is called Cohesive.so and it creates magical content with the most powerful AI editor. And the best thing is it's totally free. When I'm here on the homepage, you already see it gives me a chat box. So the nice thing about this tool is that it's a AI editor that helps you and guides you a little bit with how you can create content. I don't know about you, but when I go to, for instance, ChatGPT, then it's sometimes still hard. I know what I want to create, but still I have to realize what I want to ask for ChatGPT and what kind of prompts I should use to create the best content. And Cohesive helps you with this and makes it much easier. So to try out what Cohesive can do, I'm going to pick one from the list here, but you can type anything you want. I'm going to go for create a LinkedIn post. And instead of creating it exactly, it asks you what you want to do. So here, create a LinkedIn post on working with AI in the future. I'm going to target this on college students. I can go for educational, casual. They already give you tips. I want it to be entertaining. And now I press generate. Cohesive has their own AI model built on ChatGPT. And the power of Cohesive really lies here. It's free and you have this amazing AI editor. So here I created my LinkedIn post on working with AI in the future. And you see that it created a lot. So we have a title, we have a lot of text. So this is already pretty impressive. But what is even more impressive is the bottom. We got some suggested hashtags. So some hashtags that we can add in the LinkedIn post and some suggested visual content. So an image of AI powered robots working alongside humans. If you were to work in ChatGPT, you have to go somewhere else to find these images and to add them. But I can do this different. I can just go in the middle and here you have a little plus. So I'm gonna go here and you have a couple of options. You can continue writing, you can add text or add image. And I want to add the image. And here on the right, you see that you get images from Unsplash. So the suggested visual content was an image of AI powered robots working alongside humans. So I'm gonna search for robots working with humans. And you have to search a bit for the right image, but I think this one is good. Here we have a girl with a robot together. So they are together. And like this, you can really build up your post right here. And right now you see on the right here, I can only add images from Unsplash but they are working on a feature to actually have an option to generate images right here in the AI editor and add them right away in your own post or blog or whatever you want. I can click on this text with this button here and then it selects this whole part. If I press expand, it will generate a longer text that can go in the stead of this sentence. So here I have AI is rapidly changing the job market landscape. Here are some of the main points to keep in mind about AI. And here on the right, you see that they created an expanded version of this. So I can press insert and it just changes there right away. And this is how you can switch it up and change your text right in this AI content editor. But also here, if this would be too long, if you have another text and it's too long, you can press summarize and you will just get a summarized version of this text right here. I can either copy or insert, so I can insert. I can even rephrase it if you want it in different words. But what's also super impressive that you can translate it. So if you want your whole text to be in another language, for instance, we want it in Portuguese, then here we see that we got the translation that we can just put in there like that. It's crazy how you can use this AI editor to mix and match. And you see that the file is not saved because I don't have an account yet. But if you sign up now, it will automatically be added to my new account. So that's pretty great. It's just free, you sign in with Google. Now you see on the right, I have the little M for Max, so I'm logged in and I can come back. And here you see my name and on the top right, you see files. And here I already have my file that I just created. It's here, it's with all the information still. And at the moment you cannot yet share it or download it. So that you have to do manually. But in the next one or two weeks, it will be added. So that's a huge feature. You can just create here, download and upload on your own website if you want. And what is also being added is that you can work together in Teams. You can just press share. This will also be added in a couple of weeks. So that's pretty cool, right? So now after I'm logged in, you see that you in the top, you still have your create, but what they also have is more than 50 templates. So here on the left, you see what kind of categories you have, and they have a lot of different things. They have full blog generator, blog title meta description for Instagram, Twitter, script for YouTube video, song lyrics, even if you want to create a song, 
it is pretty impressive what they have and this is how it's starting now so they only have 50 in the beginning but probably in the future there will be even more and the nice thing about this again is that it helps you it guides you so for instance i would i like the song lyrics so if i go to the song lyrics write songs that hook your listeners then i can write song lyrics about unlikely friendship between dog and cat and the genre will be a rap song and like this we have our song called unlikely friendship ain't no denying it's a curious case a dog and a cat with different ways ah, and we have a chorus as well unlikely friendship pa to pa running around like it's no law i mean this is just fun this is pretty cool and the crazy thing is that it's totally free, so that's really impressive. But I want to put it to the test and try out Cohesive versus ChatGPT because that's the other one that people are using the most right now. So I have some content that I want to create. And the first one is create a blog post about fruit garden. Let's think how we'll do this. I would just type create a blog post about fruit garden because that's what I want, right? And it's creating a blog post. So I don't have a title yet. That's okay. I can think of my own. Maybe I have to ask them manually. Okay, so it took quite a while. So we have, are you looking for a way to incorporate more fresh fruit in your diet while also enjoying the satisfaction of growing your own food? Look no further than a fruit garden. Pretty enticing. We don't have a title yet, but we have some tips on how to get started. And I have to ask ChatGPT for some more info because this is not the final blog. So I need a bit more info. So can you write a title for this blog? Because we need a title. That's what we always have in a blog. And also we need some images, right? So. This is a step that I have to do manually and you have to know what you want exactly. And that is the thing with ChatGPT, right? You, you go there and you have in your mind what you want, but how you do it exactly, that's not always clear. So let's try out Cohesive. And I'm just gonna go to the first one, the full block generator. Write the block about fruit garden. The goal is, what is the goal of this block? Inform and entertain. And the tone should be ed educational. In my mind, this goes faster than the ChatGPT one, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's take a look how it's going. And on the right, you already see how many words, how many characters, the reading time that people will have, creating the perfect fruit garden, tips and tricks. So we already have a nice title. Fruit gardens are a wonderful way to grow your own fresh produce, save money and promote healthy eating habits. And here, if I go down, we have the benefits of raised garden beds. And here they say suggested image a raised garden bed filled with a variety of fruits, trees, and plants. So I can go here, press the plus, add image. I'm not entirely sure what a raised garden bed is, but I do like this one. So this one seems good. And what we also already have is alt text. So when you create a block, you always have to add text to the images that you add. So here now we have this image. I press done to make sure that it's saved. And I can just delete this by selecting it and doing like this. So that's how easy it is to delete things and to add things. Here we have another suggested image and we even have a meta description in the bottom for the search engine. So that's pretty cool. Here on the right, we have some content suggestions. So let's take a look what happens. So here now we just get a whole nother article about how to prevent pests and diseases in your fruit garden. That's pretty insane. That's pretty cool. But let's say that you have your own thing in mind that you want to add. A text, describe what you want to write. I want to write about which fruits are easiest to grow. And here on the right, you see that they are generating the text and I can just press insert. I just added my text. So this is really cool. If I wanted to add this in ChatGPT, I would go to ChatGPT and then think, okay, add an extra paragraph. And here they write an extra paragraph, but I still have to manually copy this here and then add this somewhere in the middle. So cohesive is pretty cool. And I can just go back pressing here. And if I go to files, you see that I have my whole file here and it just stays there. So that's pretty cool. And I'm going to try one more to put it to the test. Write an Instagram caption for a fruit garden picture. Fresh, delicious and homegrown. There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of picking your own fruit straight from the garden. Hashtag fruit garden, hashtag homegrown. I mean, it's not bad, right? It's a, it's a good one. And how would I do this in cohesive? So I go to Instagram caption, write the Instagram post caption for a fruit garden picture. The target audience. So this is nice, right? They are going to change it up, whatever you say. So if I want the target audience to be working mothers, the tone will be funny and enjoyable. The goal will be to entertain. 
Who needs a vacation to a tropical paradise when you have your own little slice of heaven in your backyard? Introducing my colorful fruity oasis where I'm the queen of my only tiny world. Hashtag working mom life, hashtag gardening life, backyard bliss. It's already adding a lot of good text there. Honestly, I think ChatGPT might be in a bit of trouble because this is so easy to use and it's really guiding you and helping you to create the perfect content that fits with you and the people that need to see your content. And this AI editor is something that I have not seen so easily to use yet. You know, you can do everything right here. You can add images, you, they help you, they show you suggestions. It's really impressive. I'm super curious if you're gonna try Cohesive and what you think of the AI editor and the helpful way of creating content. Leave a comment below what you think about this tool. And otherwise, please subscribe because I have many other AI content videos. See you in the next one.